Good morning, everyone. Starting today on this Monday, a new group of people now eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Texas. This is a new phase that applies to people age 50 years old and up. That's right. So some local health officials say those in phase 1C will have to wait a little longer. Candy Rodriguez joins us live to explain. Good morning, Candy. Hey, Amanda Sally, good morning. And that's because some Central Texas vaccine hubs and providers say they are working to get through all of those who fall under phase 1A and phase 1B first. Now, those are the faces that include our frontline workers and people 65 and older, as well as those with the chronic medical condition. The new phase would include all of those who are 50 and older, as you mentioned, and DSHS says they made the move because those between 50 and 64 account for about 20% of all COVID-19 deaths. But despite the state expanding its vaccine eligibility, Austin Public Health says its vaccine allocation did not go up this week. It's only getting around 12,000 vaccines and officials say they have a wait list of approximately 200,000 people who fall under the 1A and 1B categories. Some of those people across Central Texas have been waiting for their shot. That includes Mary Rogers and her husband, who are both over 65 and have heart and lung issues. Mary says they've been trying to get a vaccine for weeks. Checking my email every day is something I've never done before, but I, I definitely will start doing it now because I don't want to miss my chance at a vaccine. But it Up north in Williamson County, officials say they have a wait list of around 12,500 people in 1A and 1B. They're expecting close to 18,000 vaccines from their partners this week. They believe that will allow them to get through those waiting in 1A and 1B and should be able to begin to get to 1C folks sometime this week into next week. Now, officials across the county say people who fall under 1C should sign up when and where they can so they are ready for their turn when the time comes. Back to you. All right, thank you, Candy. Well, just over the weekend, Austin Public Health moved the Austin Travis County area down to its stage three of COVID-19 risk guidelines. That means that it's improving out there. Here is what APH recommends with this phase. Masks and social distancing still encouraged. Those over the age of 65 and up with a chronic medical condition as well should avoid non-essential dining, shopping and traveling. Avoid the social gatherings with groups larger than 10 people and businesses, restaurants also asked to voluntarily operate at a reduced capacity of 50 to 75 percent.